Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here. Whoops, I dropped a, sand, a slipper. <laughs> this is Elise here, Plan with Elise. And today we are planning in a big happy planner, but this spread is not for me. In August, I launched a new tier over on Patreon where, um, as you've seen other creators do, I am offering custom spreads and one-on-one uh, -on -one calls to help with budgeting and goals and things like that. Well, they're semi-custom spreads. And the reason I'm saying semi-custom is because I don't have a sticker machine. I don't have a great printer for stickers. So they're spreads using things I already have. And uh, maybe other things I'll pick up. But if someone wanted, let's say, like, I don't know, a... I was going to say Little Mermaid, but now I have Little Mermaid stickers. Something very specific that I might not necessarily have the stuff for. So today we are doing Courtney's spread. And I'm not going to lie, this video makes me super nervous because I did do a spread for someone, uh, for Jody in July. But that was just kind of like a little test for myself to see how I might feel doing a video for someone else. So... I'm nervous because I want to make someone feel like, you know, what they have um, paid for is something that they like. I'm going to remind myself that those who have upgraded to this tier, um, you know, know what I put in my planners and the way that I plan and the way that I decorate and um, wouldn't have, you know, chosen to do this if they didn't like my style or were looking for something completely different. So we're just going to pretend that this is for me and not someone else, and that's going to help. Now, I know that this says July. We are going to cover up the dates because I don't have that many backup planners. I did purchase some. I used a recent Happy Planner sale to purchase a backup big planner because I have a couple people in this tier who use a big and I realized that I'm going to need some extra big pages when typically I only have extra um, classic size. So I did make a purchase. This tier also, I announced it to my patron. So let me back up for a second before I just ramble about Patreon. Um, I'm using Fun Brights. Whoops, that sticker is stuck. Fun Brights Mega Book for those florals. And then I have seasonal whimsy also Courtney wanted something that makes her feel like it's her planner looks like the season that we're in and so that's what we are doing for this August thread it is going to look like summer and this is the week before um she goes away so it'll be fun anyway I decided to only open seven slots for this new change because I know it's going to take more time um, from my schedule and I wanted to make sure that I'd be able to, you know, give everyone the time that they deserve without overwhelming myself. So um, it sold out with just my current patrons before I ever even really had a chance to announce it uh, to everyone else. Now, to be honest, I feel like if somebody wanted to be in my Patreon, they would have been without having this tier, so I didn't really find a need to share it with everyone else because I felt like it wouldn't have, you know, people wouldn't have signed up. If anyone's going to sign up, it's going to be someone who is already a member of my Patreon. Okay, now I have this check washi. I think, or plaid, I think that this is from... It's either from Live Love Posh or Plan Anything. I feel like I should really know, but um, I thought it was Live Love Posh until I realized that these weren't open. So I think this may actually be Plan Anything. Yes, this one is Plan Anything. This one is Live Love Posh, but I'm seeing that this yellow isn't quite the right color. So I may not use it yet. And maybe instead we'll bring in this orange. It's just always hard to figure out where the end is. This spread is going to be decorated, I feel like it was right there, similar to how I do mine because Courtney said that she likes the way that I do my spreads with a lot of function and um, that's what she was looking for. So that makes things easy for me. Now, I 
have misplaced my washi cutting card. It's been misplaced for quite a while now, so we are going to use a knife to cut this until I can just find like an old gift card or something else and figure out where mine might be. And then I also have yellow and orange and pink boxes. I do want to bring in some yellow because I feel like summer is very yellowy. Yellow is summery. <laughs> I don't know the right phrase. So let's look over here for a second and see like there's so many of these pretty ones. So I'm gonna pull this out because I think we're probably just going to use those florals. Oh, bright skies ahead. That's cute, I wanna use that too. This is the challenge I always face with these big books because I find them much harder to flip through than other books. And I find so many stickers that I wanna use and I don't know how to put it all together. So we just end up with a messy desk, which I think is probably why I tend to not use the big mega books as much because it just feels like there's too much going on. So we're going to bring, let's see, a little header box over here and let's use my checklist stencil, my favorite tool. And then I have another idea. I recently picked up some additional zig dot markers and I did pick up a hot pink. Do we go ahead and do it? Let's see what it might look like. I'm trying to find something. There we go. Over here. That's the perfect pink. Okay, we are doing the perfect pink. Oh, that's pretty. Yay, it gets me excited when things start to work <laughs> in the way that I want them to. Now, I want to look, I'm looking over in that other book again for some of these stickers. So we have important, because we're going to want some boxes in here, right? I've already used a lot of the peach ones. I could definitely use yellow. I can also use pink. Um, let's see, we've got the big yellow. I wanted a smaller one. I also kind of like that. This pink is just a really pretty pink. So and now I'm thinking, do I need to have orange also? I also pulled out summer boxes. That's gonna be too bright of a pink. No, I really need that orange sticker book. Silly me, didn't realize that I had the orange sticker book right next to me from a different video. So we are going to find a nice orange here. This one I feel like is gonna be really bright. This is the right color. Perfect. So let's go for a box and then maybe we'll bring in a pink also. As I'm realizing that this sticker book might not have the right color pink I need. Let's see how I feel about this one. I feel like it looks good. It's a good, it's a good match. So we are going to put, maybe we'll do the orange first, then let's put this pink down here so I can kind of figure out the spacing. And then right there. Okay, yay, I like how that's looking. Now, my question becomes, do I just continue with these yellow heading boxes, I think I do. I think that that would feel like I have some consistency throughout the spread. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one in. And then I wanna jump back to these boxes, but I also wanna bring in these. So we have the pink, we've got the peach, we have the strawberries, we have the peach. Um, see if they're anywhere else. They are over here too. So I want to kind of play with them throughout the spread a little bit, but I know we're only at Tuesday and I don't want to overdo it and miss out. I could also bring in some green. That might be really nice. Although that would mean that I need to get up again and get... <laughs> another green sticker book, as long as I have this right color of green. 
So back when I lived in my apartment, I had my filming desk right next to my bookshelf where most of my stickers are. I don't have that here because of, I, I didn't have a way to set up this current office that way. Um, it may be something that I decide to reconfigure because I do have to actually get up from my desk instead of just like quickly leaning over and grabbing something and I'm finding it annoying. So I may decide on, I don't know, a September goal because that's not going to happen in August, but maybe a September goal could be figuring out how to reconfigure my office so that I don't have to do this this way. Okay, so I also saw this cute sticker, plans or dreams in the making, and I thought that this would be really fun. So we could put this over here, maybe with something. Let's get this green in here because there's not a lot of green happening. If you were tweezers, where would you be? Here we go. So let's see. This one may be too big, that lime. Trying to feel like maybe over here. So what if we feel like this has to be centered right there. And then we're gonna put this here and grab my white pen. Something's gonna fall, okay. <laughs> this, there's so many sticker books out on my desk and I just cleaned my desk this morning, but I guess we will be cleaning it again this afternoon. There we go, that looks cute. I'm gonna need to fix right there because it's not a perfect punch. And then I want to take these little leaves or maybe the strawberries, maybe both. Um, but I kind of want to like bring this in right over here. I feel like this sticker doesn't necessarily go with the other stickers on the spread in terms of it being like on the same page, but color wise it goes. So I'm just going to kind of make it look like it fits a little bit better and cover up that part that came across. Okay, that's cute. And then maybe we can even just grab a little strawberry. Right there with it. Kind of add something else. All right, now let's, I was gonna do a checklist up here. And also, of course, I'm going to redate this, but we're gonna wait until the end so I know really what colors I wanna use. But so far, I'm really liking it. What if I want to keep this for myself? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't. But it may give me an idea. This is also a fun way, whoops, for me to get to use all of the stickers and different sizes and layouts and all that. So I'll bring this in. And then over here on the bottom of Wednesday, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did on Tuesday to kind of balance it all out. So we're going to go here and then take another pink box and put this right over here. I feel like it is a lot of pink with that pink right there and that right there. I didn't quite plan on that, but I think it's okay. All right, let's scoot over because I still have these florals. I still have other quotes that I want to use. So I'm thinking to I'm gonna pull out this quote over here, bright skies ahead, which I think is just like really pretty with this theme. I also wanna look, so we had squeeze the day. Life is sweet and squeeze the day. I'd like to bring both of them in. I don't know if I can, but we're gonna try. And let's see, if I'm mapping this out, we could do a quote, we can do a checklist, and then we could do a box situation or I could come back up and put another quote here. I don't think I want to do that. I think I want, I feel like this is getting busy with boxes. I could put a checklist here. That's probably going to be, oh wait, but then I was saying this was busy. So if I put a checklist over here, I could put boxes over here and a quote down here. That's what we're going to do. This is where I'm kind of like playing Tetris in my planner. So. Let's do bright skies ahead. 
and maybe match it with a flower. But now looking at the sizing here. Oh, this is gonna actually work out really nicely. So I'm gonna put this a little bit high so that I have room for this floral. I think that that's pretty and we can even kind of peek in the strawberry. I also can't forget to use the washi tape because I had that on this side. So I wanna bring it in again. Let me jump back to like a little strawberry just to get the fruit in here again. Um, we can bring in this like right over here. Just a little, little sneak of a strawberry in. And then now I have to decide on a different color scheme because I've done green and pink. I've done orange and pink. But we need one other color. So we could do green and orange together. We can also maybe bring in yellow. I like yellow and orange as a combination. So I think I'm gonna do that. Let's go back here. Let's take a smaller yellow, maybe one of these. Typically, this is where it's going to vary a little bit if I were doing the spread for myself. I might put in like one full box instead of two on each day, but I don't quite know Courtney's schedule. So <laughs> we're gonna kind of go with two and let her give me feedback because I don't necessarily know, you know, without having a full conversation or doing this live, what's going to work best, best for her. Now, because I put that yellow box over there and I introduced that design, I want to do the same thing over here. And this time we're going to put this for all the list making because I know that she has a lot going on. So we're going to get some lists in there. Now, I need to bring in the orange washi. So as I'm mapping this out in my brain, we can do a checklist over here. We can do boxes over here. We'll do the same thing. So let me do that before I forget the checklist where they're gonna go. I think that doing videos this way where I've like mapped out all of this stuff for so long has like helped me visualize other things in my life because I can picture it a little bit better than maybe I used to be able to. One of the things that I've learned over the last, how many years have I been at my job? Seven, I think, is that the brain is fully a muscle, which, I mean, I think it's a muscle, actually. That might not be a fact, don't hold me to it. But in my mind, the brain is a muscle and exercising it strengthens it the way that any other muscle does. You know, we talk about like muscle memory. I think there's a lot going on with brain memory too. And the more I do something, I mean, I think the more we do anything, the easier it becomes and it just kind of like works. I don't know that that made any sense. It made sense in my brain. Okay, squeeze the day. Is this the other one we were gonna use? Yeah. Let me double check because I feel like back to this. I have the florals. Embrace your own journey, I like, but I feel like squeeze the day just kind of fits. This is cute too. Um, fits with the fruit and floral theme that we're working with. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I wanna use squeeze the day, but I know that this is going to be a small sticker compared to the space that we have for it. So we can bring in some washi and some florals, but this is like super small. So, hmm. I think that I want to do the washi up top like I did it on the bottom before. So let's put this here. And then we'll use my knife to cut it. And then let me go back to the fruit so I see what I actually have. Trying to figure out 
could also maybe bring in another strip of washi. This pen does not want to work today. There we go. Sometimes just cleaning off the dried tip of it helps a lot. Okay, before I put this sticker down, I'm going to go back to the fruit that we have over here. So we're going to bring this in right here. And then this can fit there with it. So in that case, now all of a sudden we have a different type of space to fill in, unless I bring this up and center it again. But I'm kind of thinking that I think I do want to move it up. Okay, let's let's redo this. Let's bring this back here. Let's hopefully be able to pull this up. Rips in my planner are one thing. Rips in a planner that I'm setting up for someone else are a little bit different. We may be seeing undo more in these, uh, these upcoming videos that you'll see this month. So in terms of these Patreon videos, um, I did kind of tell those who joined the tier that I don't know if there will be videos for every single spread I'm doing. Um, my video schedule is pretty packed as is. So, you know, there may be one month that someone gets a video to see how their spread came together. And whoops, that's just gonna live there. And another month where someone else does. So they may be alternated. I may have a chance to do them all. I'm not quite sure yet. When I first launched my Patreon, I did not include this type of perk because I wanted to see how it would all go without adding um, the extra time to my plate. I think this is coming out really cute, by the way. And it's been almost two years. Um, September 30th was when I launched. So we are nearing two years. And while my life is still pretty, pretty busy and hasn't necessarily slowed down, I do think that um, that this was the right time to do it. And also it was highly requested. If it weren't requested or if it wasn't requested, it wasn't something that I would have launched, but I'm really excited for this next step. Okay. I think that that looks cute. I like it. Now let's go to, I also want to bring in some more florals because I have that floral there, this one, but I feel like the floral is kind of hidden within this spread. So we're going to add that checklist. It can be hard for me sometimes to remember all the different things that I wanted to include. And then I get ideas as I get to this side, but I need to jump back to the left side to implement them there so that there's balance. And that's also why I typically don't do the sidebar until the end because it gives me the opportunity to add in those extra colors or designs that I may have started to figure out on the right side of the spread. All right, this is pretty. And then we'll put a box right here. And now we have one more day and the remaining of the sidebar. So, um, checklist, boxes, floral and quote is kind of what I'm thinking. Let's see. I could also do checklist here, floral and quote boxes, but I think I want to separate it since this one is so big. So what did I say? Checklist, boxes, floral and quote. Okay. Oh, and we need to redate this, of course, as well. So I am also very happy today because my painters just left um, finishing the job that was started before I moved in. It took quite a while to get them back. Um, it wasn't the best experience, to be honest with you. Oh, and I forgot about all these bullet points. And I'm glad that, um, that it's finished. They actually had originally offered to add in um, my primary bathroom. And I told them today when they were finished that um, I'm not gonna be using them for my primary bathroom. 
I mean, I, I just said that I'm going to renovate the entire thing eventually. It's very low on my list because no one sees it. It's in my bedroom. I have two other bathrooms that guests can use. And it's very low on my list of things to do. So, because I didn't want them to, like, expect a call. Um, because, you know, it just was not an experience that I, uh, <laughs> I was happy with in the end. Okay, the result is good. I'm happy with the result. And that's just where we're going to leave it. Because, you know that it's great. The process was the, uh, the part that I didn't love, but you know what? I mean, things happen, right? Okay. Let's find a quote before I put it, put down a sticker. So I think that we used up all of these that I wanted to use. Oh, I do want to use that little strawberry though, cause that's cute. So let's go back to the sticker book and let's see. Every picture tells a story. That's cute, but it's more like memory keeping. We don't have any pictures in here. Embrace your journey. I like that. I think we're gonna go for embrace your own journey. Embrace your own journey. But I don't know that I'm gonna have room for a floral with this sticker. Got to pull up the sticker first. I think we can make it work. This is where another position where it's like, if this were my spread, I would be fine just kind of going across like the bottom, but I hope she's okay with it. I'm actually feeling better about this than I thought I would. I was just really, really nervous leading up to it. Um, and I think that once I told myself that we are just going to pretend this is for my planner, it helped relieve some of the pressure that I felt. And this pressure isn't uncommon for me. I don't feel pressure when I'm sitting down to film a video for my planner. Um, I feel pressure with these. <laughs> It's pressure I put on myself. And I also feel pressure when I'm sitting down to film sponsored content um, or a new product flip through, right? Because I want the creator to feel like I am doing it justice. And, you know, just like um, my job, right? I want my boss, and I think we all kind of do, I want my boss to be happy with the work I'm doing. When someone hires me for something, which is kind of what all of this is, right? I want them to be happy with the work too. So I don't know that my painter feels the same way. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Um, we are going to put this down. All right. Now I'm going to clear off a little bit of my desk so that I can actually see this because I know we also need to redate it. And I want to include something else on the sidebar. I'm thinking that I'd really like these on the sidebar. Oh, wait, those strawberries. I wanted them back, right? I said I want to bring these in again. Oh, I just had a different idea. Before I put those down, let's go back to the fruit. I think we might play around. Mm, trying to see how much room I have. I was thinking maybe play around with the fruit, like, at the top a little bit. What funny story. When I was moving my stickers over, I accidentally hit my... Um, keyboard and it like woke up my computer and I saw a preview of a text message that it seemed like something went very wrong but it didn't and all good but I was like oh I need to I need to handle that all right so I'm trying to decide do I want to put florals over here or do I want to give Courtney some room for additional functionality I feel like I really gave a lot of function here so I think that maybe we do both Maybe we bring this in over here and then I bring in a green box, which I think is, we only have one over here. This might be a little bit too big. Let's cover up this and put this box right over here for anything else that she wants to add from the week. And then maybe we just cover up that correction tape. One, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five with something fruity. Um, what about this slice? Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up. We're gonna put it right there. That looks good. Okay, now for the redating. I feel like what's fun about this spread is that I wouldn't have necessarily chosen the florals and the fruit to go together, but I think that it really works and that makes me happy. So I want to use a sticker book that I know I saw on my desk. It was sitting here. And this is why you should really clean off your desk before you sit down to do a video. To be clear, I did clean off my desk before I sat down to do this video. This video just got a little out of hand in terms of everything. So I have Mojo Jojo Rainbow Date It. And I think that we're going to first go with the green for August. Let me just double check that that's the biggest August because I feel like, there we go, but I don't know that I'll have, oh no, it should be in green. Am I wrong? August, we got this one. I was looking for the paper. This is gonna be maybe too big, maybe not. Actually, I don't think it'll be too big, but we're going to cover up. Correction tape always to the rescue. So let's pop August in right there. And then I really wanna use paper dated stickers because sometimes you can just see the correction tape through it. So I kind of wanna do all the same color. I feel like different colors might get a little hectic. So I think we're gonna go with the orange. Now we're doing the 14th, the week of the 14th. Let's double check. Yes. And I think the way I'm going to do it is first put these down and then just use my, um, I don't know if that's going to work. I was going to say then just use my white pen to cover up anything else. I think this should work. Okay. So white pen, put that there, tiny bit right there, and then 17. Nope, oh, you can see that one. Okay, we're just gonna go back to the correction tape because these are getting kind of darker progressively. This planner, by the way, is the squad goals, squad girls. Um, planner, the big one that started in July, in case you are wondering. 19th and 20th. Okay, I think we did it. I think I did my very first Patreon exclusive tier spread. Oh wait, the strawberries. We didn't do it yet. We've got to add in this last set of strawberries that I really wanted to use. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to put them. But I feel like they're so cute. They need to be in here somewhere. I can't remove the lemon. Do we bring them in right here? Is that going to be a lot? It might be a lot. Like super extra. What if we cut off this tiny little strawberry? Just when I thought I was finished. Bring that in there. And then this is where I'm like, do I just put these here? No, they're too small. That looks silly. Okay. Anyway, I think we got it. I think we are all set. And I hope that Courtney loves this. I love it. I want to use it. I'm jealous. Um, I will link everything that I used in the description of this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.